Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we are going to create some more objects in our level select uh, system, uh, level select scene. And uh, then uh, we want to select actually some levels. I have just changed the spawn position uh, here. If you can see player spawn position. So I will bring player here and now we can add some objects so actually i want to add one cube here you can add cube sphere capsule whatever you want i will just add a cube and uh, uh, this cube actually i will make it some some texture i will add to this cube so if we go to uh, our ui i think we have some uh, textures here inside um, here you can find some textures I think uh, this is paper one etc and I think we have some textures I don't know where they lies I will just check huh, here you can see these nice textures so I will select the cube and I will place a blue texture here on this cube and now you can see that we have this nice cube. We can rename this cube to our scene name and we have three scenes uh, created so I will just uh, recheck these scenes and we have night industrial and city so I will just rename it to city trigger like this and uh, then we can place it anywhere in our uh, scene and then we can just make it uh, rotate like this and uh, I will just make it trigger okay because we want to trigger on this cube uh, also I will make it a uh, little bit smaller like this in height and uh, like this yeah so now we have a nice cube here and for city trigger I will just duplicate this trigger and uh, here it is also trigger and I will just change the name to industrial industrial trigger okay and uh, one more trigger we, we need for third level and I will just duplicate this one and for this we can rename it to night trigger night trigger okay like this so now we have three triggers and i will just change the colors uh, for th all these triggers so let's add a green color here and red color here on this trigger and actually this is not red this is right so that's nice now we can just uh, make these cubes in one line so I will just select these cubes we can rotate these cube a little bit oh, like this and then I will just select the industrial trigger and we can move it here and for night trigger here okay so that's nice after its placement the second thing we need is to create our word space UI so we have to create some buttons and for that purpose I will just create a new UI canvas and for this canvas we can rename this canvas to uh, level select canvas like this and uh, now uh, what we want we actually want to create buttons inside this uh, canvas but before that we will select the canvas and we will make it a word space so now we can place our button onto these uh, cubes so let's create button so here we will create a button and now we can rename this button and the name of this button should be similar to the scene name okay so first button will be city and here for this button text we can change text to city like this 
and we will detect our button by pressing F. Also, we will change the mesh of this button and I think we have uh, not mesh, the sprite actually. So, we have these button icons here, maybe I just forget from where I had took the buttons in uh, main menu. So, uh, I think yeah here frame basics and sorry for delay parts yeah so here we will add some button so i will just select the button and i will drag drop this button uh, here also for text i will just make text to white and we can also make it bold and that's nice also we can select the font and actually we have selected the end game font but it's not nice actually so here i think arial is fine so we can save this button now we will adjust the position of this button and uh, we can select this button and we can move this button like this okay so i will just add this button on cube and uh, easier way to add this button on exact position is to copy the position of cube and then we can add this button there but i am doing this manually so button is too big i'll just uh, scale it like this and then we can zoom in a little bit and actually double click and then we can zoom press f to focus and then we can place it here right above the blue cube okay and this is big and let's make it like this so now we have a nice button on our cube and uh, rotation we can fix it manually and here I think so that's nice we have a nice button for city cube okay so we will duplicate this button uh, two times and uh, one for this cube and one for another cube this one and for this cube button we will make it industrial sorry in industrial it should be the similar name of our scene and the last one was what was the last one uh, city uh, night sorry so I will just rename it this button to night and also we will change the text to night and this text to industrial okay like this so now we will move further we will initially hide these buttons so we don't want to see these buttons unless we will enter certain cube so after hiding these buttons what we will do we will make create a script for triggering in and out so let's create a script and we will name this script button trigger like this and we will open this script so let's open the script and uh, now we will just create a function for on trigger enter and exit so let's wait for some seconds okay inside this script we will simply create a function on trigger enter so i will just remove these two functions and actually it's taking some time and here we will add void on trigger void on trigger enter and actually i want 
smart commenting on trigger enter and here we will say that if our other dot tag because we are using other here okay e uh, equal to player if it is player then what will happen then we will say btn dot set active and we did not define the btn so here we will create a public game object sorry game object and we will name it btn and here we will say btn dot set active true and now we can just copy this function and we will add it for exit so here we will say exit if our player exit then it will be false like this okay so that's nice now we will move to our unity and here on these triggers we will add script so uh, i think we have to reload unity it's taking time anyhow we will select these triggers and here i will just add that button trigger okay and here now you can see btn so we will select one by one triggers for city trigger we will add city button for industrial trigger we will add industrial button for night trigger we will add night button so now if you play game you will see that when we will enter into any of the our box we will uh, our button will be enabled and you can see that we don't have player inside uh, this level that's why we can't uh, see that so we can move to our scenes main menu and let's try the complete functionality so let's play the game and now hopefully we can go to play we can select our character for example third one and then if we accept start then our level is loaded and we have a nice player here and if we enter into any of cube for example this one you can see city button is enabled if we go to this cube you can see industrial button enabled and for third you can see night button enabled one uh, annoying thing is that we can't click on these buttons okay you can see we can't click because in vector by default make uh, mouse cursor uh, hide and lock okay so for enabling mouse cursor we can uh, we have certain options so the easiest way to uh, uh, hide, uh, show the cursor in the beginning is to go to this these prefabs we will go to these ready players we can just select our player open prefab and inside input section shooter midi input you can find unlock cursor on start so we will just enable this okay like this so that's it for second player uh, for first player we will just save the prefab and now we will go to second player open prefab and we will make these cursor unlock okay like this for third player also we want our cursor unlock so that we can uh, touch our buttons we can click on our buttons so that's nice so now if we move to our main menu uh, and actually we are in main menu so now we can test the functionality and hopefully we can the buttons will be clickable and now you can see that we have mouse cursor enabled if we click play start you will see that we can see our mouse now okay mouse cursor now if we go to this uh, cube we can now click on this button you can see these buttons are clickable okay also we can position these buttons in right manner whatever we want and these buttons also are clickable so that's it for this video in next video we will move further 
and we will learn that how we can spawn our character into other environments let's meet in next video goodbye